Oh, yeah. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, December 29th, 2015. This is your daily Forex trading strategy session. Today, I'm just going to do technical analysis. I'm going to cover uh, pound dollar. I guess we have to do euro dollar. I'd like to do USD CAD. I'd like to do some yen pairs, and I can um, also take requests. And I'm going to try a slightly different format today. I'm going to try to record it in a, um, a playlist format. So I'm going to try something different. Wait, and it already hasn't started out properly. Hang on. It says the stream starting. Stream health good. Stream is offline. Hang on. Why is it offline? Might have to do this again. Hang on. No, I think it's maybe it is running. So, anyways, <laughs> we'll just go with that. Uh, like I said, I'm trying something new. So, anyways, uh, we'll go with pound dollar, euro dollar, just because those are required. Now, look how weak pound is. So, I'll do the technical analysis on that. Uh, I'd like to do USD CAD. Uh, we could look at the Aussie. Of course, I'd like to look at all the ends. Uh, I think we should uh, update ourselves on the stock market, and I think we should look at oil. And other than that, I think I'll take some uh, requests if, if you have any other technical analysis that's on your mind and you'd like me to go through that. What do you stink? Smell like a plan? Smells like a great plan. Smells good, senor. <laughs> All right, let's go and... Bada bing, bada boom, boom, boom. All I want to do is a zoom. All right. Good morning, everybody. Let me remind you that trading's for, trading Forex is risky, not appropriate for everyone. Your past performance, good or bad, is not necessarily indicative of future results. You could have been a hero yesterday and a zero today. So protect your money at all costs. Stay small, stay humble, focus on the long term. Re never risk money you cannot afford to lose. Hola, my name is Wayne McDonald. I'm the Chief FX Market Strategist for TradersWay.com, a fabulous ECN that enters your trades directly into the interbanking system. Nice and quick, very affordable, nice. We offer access to Forex, but also energies, metals, indices, and uh, we're updating the binary platform. Today's session is be being recorded at Forex.today. Why don't you swing on by? You can register and attend these events for free. Also, we have uh, dozens of trading ideas posted on the website for you. So we have a team of analysts stationed around the world watching the markets 24 hours a day, looking for trade opportunities and spending the time to document it for you for free. Isn't that nice? Cool. No upsell, no side sell. Just hope it helps. So anyways, here we are, back at the charts. So I propose we start with um, pound dollar. Hopefully that's okay with you. Let's start with pig dog, pound dollar. <laughs> take your time, MT4, take your time. Union rules, right? Holy smokes, eh? What do I have? Some crazy EA running on this? Huh? There it is. Wow. What was I doing, huh? All right. Wow. Look how crazy these charts are. Total mud, huh? All right. So let's just reaffirm the long term strategy. This is a daily chart. Let me get my drawing tool going. Um, 
you know, it's very important to start on the high time frames first. And the reason for that is you want to trade in the direction of the primary trend. And if you don't understand fundamentals, then the long-term technicals are just going to be easier for you to grasp. So on this daily chart, what is the trend? What are the powers in play? Obviously a down move. As you can see, over the course of spring, came back, made a 50% retracement lower low, lower high, and then you can see this giant arrow pointing down. And the plan since, uh, well, it's, I think it's been one year now. One year. Isn't that neat? One year we've been in this trend. So where are we in this process? Okay, so that's the daily chart. Maybe I can just cut the corner here and put this to a four hour, kind of set this up again. There, there's the process. So this big orange line is the downtrend. And you can see we even had it set up here. So we've had our lower low, lower high, lower high pullback idea, right? Just like anything else, when you make a new low, you take the previous low, drag it across, it's your new sell zone. Sell zone number two would be here. And that's it. So we're in this process. And now if I zoom in onto the hour, you can see the process that we had was simply price coming back to the sell zone off because we made a new lower low. So it's going to retrace back. What used to be support is now resistance. And then on this hourly chart, breakout, because on this time frame, you have it trapped like this, right? Breakout, back to the scene of the crime, and down. Moving forward, we have some issues. That doesn't have to break. Now, the long-term prevailing trend says it will, but if you're going to be short, I'd like you to be short kind of up in here, right? <laughs> Certainly not now. If it was going to bounce, I think it would bounce back to this area. Again, just sort of a roll reversal. And maybe here I might eyeball. Um, you could certainly fib this whole area. You could fib it from here to here and look for a 3A2, 50%, 618 retracement. Um, the only concern is a bounce at this level could really predict more of a bottom. So if you were short and you were bare, based on technical analysis, right, lower high, lower low, lower high, um, you're expecting on the higher time frame a lower low, right? So to take this from the hourly now and go back to the four hour, if you shorted that, right, and your plan was something like this, you're not, you're not worried about this double bottom, are you? Not in the least, right? I mean, you're just waiting for the next low. I guess the, the biggest concern here is the velocity. So, like, when was the last time we had a candle this big? It's been a while, huh? Well, let's look at this one, maybe. What happened? A few days of nothing, a drop, and then the bigger fib. So eventually what it did was this. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm hoping though, if, if it does anything like that. Now the issue now is we're clearly through 150. We used to be stuck at the psychological level of 150. Right? Right? We used to be stuck at this 150 psych level. I think we might be on the free and clear program here. So based on our analysis last year, uh, last November and December, we put together this daily plan on pound dollar. 
So we're expecting it to go down to about 45, which is another 300 pips down. But if the long-term pattern fulfills its destiny, the, you know, the moderate potential on this is 1,200 more pips to go. How does that make you feel inside, emotionally? Yeah, warm and fuzzy. Uh, so anyways, that just puts it in the context where we are. We're probably going down here. Now, I have it zoned as a, gr a gray zone because I still think there's a potential for better than expected news in the first quarter for the UK. So we'll see. I'll see you at 45, baby. I'll see you at 45. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's do... Uh, I guess we have to do Euro USD, right? Let's do that next. All right. Since it's required by law, we'll cover Euro USD. Uh, 